there's the old 1400 went to bring it here uh, home earlier this year and sure enough carburetor started leaking gas and I wasn't gonna road travel it I don't know what's going on with these gates here first time I've been here for a while there's the corn we'll get into that here in a minute really wanting to see what these beans look like not a terrible amount of weed pressure um, yeah there are pods there I mean I see them they're a shorter variety some bug pressure of course we're just right here in the front these are beans planted on 30s they uh they look like beans they don't look like they're going to be a bumper crop but um if you watch my other videos the conditions were not ideal this is the shortest crop of beans i've ever had I'll tell you that already these are 3.3s i honestly thought they'd be further along as far as pod size but you never know Yeah, so hi. Long time no see. Uh, sorry I haven't been posting much. Just got a lot of stuff going on with life with the newborn and uh, job promotions and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, today I'm coming to check these crops. And then we have to go to the cemetery property and start mowing hay. Uh, so hopefully you enjoy the, the video and coming along with me. We'll go from there. Well, I didn't mean to pull this one. I hit it with my foot and it broke off. Uh, not seeing any four beaners. These were, like I said, those were a 3.3 variety planted on like, I don't know, June 30th or something crazy late again, because that's how this property always seems to work. But uh, they, they, they are doing better than what I expected, to be completely honest. I said test weight doesn't look like it's there, but they're nowhere close to yellowing out either. So right now they're filling the pod. Got some weed pressure um, mildly. There's a dang gypsum weed. See a couple more of those poking up down there. Uh, the what I'm having problems with is this: what what that plant is right there. That's spiny pigweed, and it is very pokey, and it's in the amaranth family. Um, and I do, I see them scattered throughout. Um, so again, this crop, if you watched my other videos, this was basically no-tilled with the 455. Uh, it does have double disc openers. Um, and I think it did a pretty good job. I'm still not crazy about the, uh, 30 inch rows. I prefer 15s. Maybe that's what's letting some of these weeds poke through, you know, the row spacing. But, uh, yeah, I also planted these at like 200,000 seeds to the acre. Maybe like 213, I think it was, because I could not slow the planter down enough for the bean plates I had. Um, I have bean plates that are supposed to drop three beans at a time. It seemed like it was doing that, but uh, I discovered later that the planter does in fact have the incorrect set size of tires on it. And what that's done is uh, basically sped up the sped up the planter because uh, it has smaller tires on it than it, what it's supposed to have. It's supposed to have uh, 15, 17, shoot, 15 sevens, and it has 14 sevens on it or something like that. Either way, I figured out they were like three inches shorter than what they're supposed to be. Now let's jaw it over to this corn patch. Still looks tall. Driving by the small two acre piece right at the very front. Uh, didn't look like I had big ears. But again, that was just the outside rows and deer pressure and deer pressure here too. It's like, uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, does anybody remember the strip that I didn't plant? It's about six foot tall of gypsum weed. Turn you around here. Talk about a good time. 
that is going to be a good time. Uh, I guess that's what you get. But, uh, yeah, there's one right at me. Got pretty flowers, but they stink to high heaven. Let me see if I can walk around. Should be able to. There's damage, obviously. Yeah, these were planted at an okay population. I've got a spindly ear on every one of them. Some of them might be good. This crop here got, uh, this one here is what got the liquid put on the top of it. Um, and that's kind of like my own personal little test was to see is there a difference between putting it on with the planter or putting it on with um, liquid after the fact? Dang, I don't even know if I can get through this weed patch. I'm going to have to go to the edge of the field. Not sure what's going on here. I don't really know why that that's opened up like that. There's nowhere, nowhere near filled to the end. Some feels okay filled to the end, but again, I'm not understanding what's up with that. A little spindly ear. I'm going to ear pick a lot of this. Some of it. I got a YouTuber guy. Um, buddy. I call him my farm buddy. He's a farmer. Jacob knows him. Jacob's the one that gave him my phone number. He's semi-local to us. <clears throat> he wants to buy some ear corn and uh well i've thought about buying that two row picker of bandits before so i could pick ear corn and, and make feed for my chickens without having to buy it Let's see man these can get so tall out here in the middle so i might be ear picking with what i was getting at with that is that's going to throw off my uh little experiment of is it better to do this or better to do that all oh, the ears in here look substantially better i think hopefully you can see that the ear set's really high which i think is good because of uh well uh it's going to be easier for me to pick i think whether the combine or the picker spindly ears on some of them here's a, here's a guy that's just he, he fell out and he's in the middle of the row i don't know why he's got two ears though geez louise this stuff is so tall i mean if that's not 12 feet that's way up there holy cow yeah at least this field isn't too big to get lost in there's a good size here filled just about to the end you know, it's kind of weird on that other side of the field where we first walked in. There was, uh, there was still pink tassels, and these tassels are done. Like maybe the planting depth affected the uh, tasseling. Here's something weird. I'm not seeing deer tracks in right here. There's a big cobweb. But what's up with this? Is this bird damage? It smells rotten as all get out. Does anybody else know what the heck that is? Never seen an ear corn look like that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna tear that thing off. Looks like it all sprouted or something, or really can't tell, but I'm taking it down. Yeah, look at that. What does that? Oh, it's like a mushroom ear. Stinky. Smells rotten. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's enough. I'm going to tromp around in here and have some more fun. And Yeah, I'm just seeing some small ears. I'll let you guys know when I get the truck loaded and we're heading to the hay property. Yeah, so I pulled one back here, and I guess you call that early dent. I don't know. Fold him back up. Anyway, just figured I'd add that.
Here's another one of them stinky ears. I don't really understand. It's like the kernels just grew 16 miles long in the shape of mushrooms. Um, yeah, doesn't that look like a mushroom to you? That is insane. Sorry, get you in focus there. What in the heck? I don't know. I hope there's not a bunch of those throughout the field here. I am seeing like some of this type of stuff um, and a lot of this. And if anybody could educate me, I'd appreciate it.